So I know I look like a douchebag with the sunglasses on, but it's really bright, so I need them. I'm back in uh, North Carolina, and uh, this time I'm staying for a little bit longer. I'm mainly gonna train Ninja Warriors. I wanna see how good I can be in a week of training. In one week from now, Tom, Juji, and I, we're gonna go to Cincinnati, and uh, we're gonna try the official Ninja Warrior course. So yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm excited to do something else, you know, it's, um, uh, climbing gets pretty repetitive and uh, I've never said that this is a climbing channel so this week it's gonna be something completely different or not completely different I mean Ninja Warriors stuff isn't that different the gym is called level up and uh, I'm gonna try in with uh, a couple of guys who've uh, who've done this many many times before all right so I'm here with the pros I'm gonna get uh, professional help So uh, today we're going to go through some uh, technical obstacles. Not focus so much on strength, but more on technique. We're not allowed to use chalk, right? The later stages in Vegas, yeah. they let you use some chalk. Okay. And today we're going to try the walk ball again. We're going to try a lot of different jumps. We're going to focus on the lache and uh, yeah. Some balance, speed. Some balance, okay. Agility. We're, we're going to try some, find some weaknesses. Yeah, Magnus. Yeah, look, good. We're going to dig deep. Yeah. <laughs> Show me the first uh, first obstacle. I'm first ready. The old flying bar. Flying bar. I love it. What's your specialty on the show? Oh, well, I would say salmon ladder, but I, I fell on the salmon ladder two years oh, ago. Oh, okay. So, salmon ladder always makes my palms real sweaty. Mm. Heart rate kind of does weird things. But this but, uh, is kind of similar to the salmon ladder, isn't it? it? It is very similar, but it is as finicky as the salmon ladder. Doesn't matter how many times you've been on it, each time it's just, it's just a, a new experience. Okay. <sighs> that looks easy. <sighs> like the, your grip. Well. That's the trick of the trade. A lot of times you'll see ninjas mix gripping it. So the bar doesn't spin in their hands. If you're holding it like this, the bar can spin and twist out of your hand if you have a little bit of weakness showing up okay. due to a pump or you know whatever. Yeah. But this way, it does it, you can kind of lock in, but it's a little, you have to get used to it. Wanna do that one as well? Yeah, I'll, I'll do it, um, I'll just to show you it. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably going to do it that way too, so. Was that sketchy at all for you, or? You know, every, every time you get up there that high and you have the chance of missing and falling, it's, it's always a little nerve-wracking, yeah. The bar's out for blood. I mean, I've seen many a ninjas get hitting the head or the mouth or oh wow so this, this thing can produce some blood yeah a lot of guys will catch one side are you trying to intimidate me i'm just saying <laughs> i've seen a lot of stitches in this thing oh man a lot of guys will catch one one pad and the other one will miss so when they come down that's losing bouncing and yeah right or, or or you get one of these the bar falls off and hits you in the head can i well, chalk no 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 you don't need this you don't need <laughs> it chalk? you don't need it okay Actually, sometimes I wonder if it's more grippy without yeah, shots. Yeah, it's more grippy. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah real grippy. Come on! Ow! Oh, I think it was the chalk. <laughs> Come on, kitty, kitty! Come oh. on! Come on, kitty! <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing. This should be like stuff that I'm good at too. Come on. Don't think about it. Got it. Wow! All right. Come on. What? Woo! Maybe I'm tired from yesterday. 
Try it, try it one swing. One big one. Just, yeah, it just feels really like heavy today. I don't know why. Yeah. That was a lot better. It's strange though, because I did a first try on uh, on Juju's channel. You should watch that. For uh, real, he did. But yeah, okay, let's move on to the next uh, next obstacle. Okay. What's that? The work ball is going to be important. Let's go to the work ball. Yeah, because I know I'm going to yeah. be bad at that. I mean, so. Juju said your legs are really small, so yeah. we're going to <laughs> test that out. See if you got power in those legs. Yeah, let's or do it. Small. Here we are, the warp wall. And how tall is this? 15? What is it? Is it 14? 13? Yeah. 17? Pretty tall. 14.5. So the technique is... The grip is important, right? On the, the grip, shoes? The first thing, you really want to have a good pair of shoes and you really want to have them clean. Okay. So I always like the spit technique. You know, you keep a little extra spit in your mouth till you get to the warp wall. All right. I like spitting on my forearms. And then get a little wipe. Yeah. And then they get <laughs> grippy. So Neil, I think you got to spit on Magnus's forearms. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so that's the first thing you need. You need grip on your shoes. Yeah. You got that. Yeah, yeah. Second thing is the run up. Mm. You don't want to run full blast into the wall 100%. Okay. You want to run maybe 75, 80%. And okay. then as soon as you start to get the the incline yeah. then hit a hundred percent because you accelerate you accelerate okay you see newbies all the time just a hundred percent and they just okay. smack straight into the wall just like Do you use cartoon. your hands at all you you really shouldn't need your hands besides pulling over the lip mm -hmm. which you're very comfortable with being a rock climber other tips chest up look up run up don't okay. look down if you look down, you might run. You might just run straight into the wall, and you just chest. Okay. Just smack the wall. All right. Look up, chest up, mm -hmm. accelerate, accelerate. Good. You do those things. Be no. easy. Okay. So typically on the course, you might have maybe two steps. Yeah. So something like this is going to be your run up. Okay. So you don't have too much uh, space. No. I mean, training for the warp wall, you, you don't want to yeah. start on the other side of the gym because on the on the show, you'll never have that type of run-up. Yeah. You so, know, you know, Juji, Tom, and I, we're going to try the actual course in Cincinnati. Mm -hmm. Do you think there's going to be a warp wall on that course? Absolutely. They're going to oh, be a so warp we're wall. So we're going to do the warp wall. Oh, man. Get your stance. Chest up. Yeah. <laughs> Feels good. All right. Come on. Oh, easy. All right, I don't think I'm gonna do the spitting part, but uh, I'll do everything else. I'll pretend to spit though. <laughs> so not too far. Uh, about here? Right here. Yeah. So you get maybe two steps before you hit the incline. I think this one I just have to do many, many times. Set, go. Chest up, head up. Whoa, Ella! I see his face. <laughs> There's a little bit of fear in that face. <laughs> so, pro tip never stop running. Even if you think you're going to hit the top, just can continue to run your feet and you can almost run on top of the wall. Okay. Accelerate through the wall. Yeah. That's something I forgot that time yeah. yeah a lot of people think they can just take so many steps and then jump mm. which you can do that sometimes but if you just keep running it just takes all that right out of it yeah that yeah, felt really good that time so uh yeah tomorrow i'm just gonna run this like 50 times and maybe the other wall too okay crazy craver what are we doing now spider jump I've seen this one too. A lot this of people mess this one up too. Yeah, I you... messed this one up. Yeah? Yeah. What so, stage? I fell on stage one in Vegas, my first season oh, man. on Spider Jump. Yeah. 
That looked easy. Yeah, I've trained this one a lot. I've fallen <laughs> on it. Yeah. Pro tip, loosen up your hips. Frog pose, perfect for that. Ooh. Okay, it's got you. I was just jumping with one foot there. I'm gonna try again. Just had to commit, had to go with two legs, not one leg, like I tried the first time. Should we move the trampoline a little bit back? Let's scoot it back. Yeah, we gotta go back. So how much further is it now? I'd say a foot and a half. Yeah. Is that close to the show? It, we're, we're getting there, we're okay. getting big boy status. A, a foot and a half is a, is a pretty big move on this one. Nice, good job, man. Yeah, man. I like it. <laughs> yeah, that looks solid. Going bigger actually helps you commit a little harder to it and it actually feels a little bit smoother. So pro tip here, don't open up too fast. Okay. Really kind of dive and then bam, Okay. open up a little bit later than you think you will because you need to travel a little bit further yeah. into the, the canal right. before you open up. Yeah, yeah. the, be the yeah. deeper the better. <laughs> Not too solid. I feel like that was I was pretty close yeah. to falling, but I still got it. Uh, we'll practice this. Just do it many times. All right. I think uh, we should move on to the next uh, obstacle. So this is a is a type of slider obstacle. Um, combination of sliders and laches. There's a lot, which are two of the most common types of obstacles on the show. So. This one will give you a much better feel for, you know, being high, flying. Let's change the obstacle, make it harder. You can do that? Yeah. Okay, how? We're, we're gonna change the grip from the T-handle to a cannonball. So this is what we had on there, T-handle, pretty easy. Yeah. Kid stuff. Kid stuff. <laughs> we'll throw a little cannon bomb on there. Should I give it a go? Or, or you, yeah, me first? Okay, so you might think that you've seen this obstacle already on Juju's channel, but you have not because we changed this. And also, I'm not using chalk. And that's like my kryptonite, because uh, I use a lot of chalk normally. And especially on holes like this, because this is like a, it's like a climbing grip, kind of. And not using chalk on a climbing grip feels so unnatural to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Perfect. Yeah. Two. One, go. Yeah, got it. Yeah, that was fun. Do you think we'll get this in Cincinnati? Or mm. like something similar? Very, yeah. Similar. I yeah. think so. Okay. Something similar where you have to fly, you have to lache. Yeah. You see it all the time. Okay. Big sliders. Yeah. Ninja Warrior loves them. So tomorrow we should try this a bunch of times too. And maybe make it even harder than yeah. today. I mean, this is a pretty big handle to grab. Yeah. On Ninja Warrior, you might have like a piece of fabric or a curtain or a, uh, yeah. a punching bag on there. There's no telling. Yeah. Do you use any like, there's no liquid chalk, no anti-hydro. Do you use nothing to dry out your skin? Mm. Huh. That's strange. Yeah. All right. Cool, cool. <laughs> How many times do you think you've done that? I don't know. Hundred. But the last time, the obstacle broke in half in my hands, about to slam me in the face. Oh really? So 
I think that was the first time back since it <laughs> um, almost yeah. dis disfiguring me. Should we do balance? Oh, we could do some balance. I think we should do My balance. My balance is not great. Is always a killer. Yes. What, what kind of balance? balance? It kills the best ninjas. Yeah. It weeds out the weak and the experienced. Balance obstacles, you always see them on Ninja Warrior. Yeah. They're always super fast agility obstacles. So almost every time when you're training for American Ninja Warrior balance obstacles, you need to be exploding through the obstacles. Super fast feet and just, if you start tripping, yeah. start flying towards the mat. We have pipes that are roll around. We have some bossy balls. Another pipe that's going to roll to another bossy ball to a platform. So very similar to most balance agility obstacles on the show. They're stable, but they move. Yeah. So like Neil was saying, you want to get a lot of momentum and more or less just tic-tac the obstacles versus trying to use them. Right. So easy. This is the obstacle in, in qualifiers that most people are super nervous about because your nerves are your nerves are there, yeah. and you have to be so dialed on your feet. And we all train a lot more of the hanging stuff. Right. So this is the this is typically one of the biggest ninja killers. Right. Because yeah. so. because those nerves get in your legs, your legs feel kind of heavy. You don't have as much balance. You really want to get to the hanging obstacles and you already see the hanging obstacle, two, two obstacles down. You're like, oh man, I want to get that hanging obstacle. And then boom, <laughs> fell on the balance obstacle. All right, I guess it's my turn. <laughs> <laughs> you want to hold this? Okay, so you just do, it's just like one step on each, right? Bum, bum, bum. And I guess these are not very stable, but these should be pretty stable. They're so. pretty stable, but they'll still, yeah, okay. they'll still skid. So like, yeah. you, you want to be really light. Just yeah. on, think about on your toes, sprinting. <laughs> so just like on the, the show, yeah. Neil can do the little countdown for you. This is what you're going to hear on the show. Yeah. You're going to boop, 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 boop. And then you go. Yeah. Okay. So here we go. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> I continued. <laughs> There it is. I almost broke my leg there. Because <laughs> there's like a big wheel. You didn't see it from here, but I just I stepped out of this and I almost fell. Uh, should we do the, what's the one where you change walls? You jump from one wall to the other? Spider flip. Spider flip, should we do that? There's a couple different techniques on the spider flip. You can do the jump, jump flip like it's intended to be. Mm -hmm. Some very flexible people can just reach back and get a foot and static and flip over. Right. You said that sometimes they have rules against it? Uh, yeah, it depends on depends on the year and what the rules. Sometimes they just make it bigger so you can't just okay. stretch out. But some, some people are too big. All right, let's just do like five jumps or something in between. Just back, just get back, and back and forth, I think. Just get the technique, maybe. Okay, I don't know if I've ever done it more than yeah, more than one. Times. Okay. Let's do a minute burn. How many times do you think you can do it in a minute? I've never did it more than once. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'll do I'll do the static version too, just so okay. you can see. Yeah. Oh nice. My oh, you're pl you're pretty flexible. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the jump is definitely a lot more fun and just looks cooler. Still no chalk? It's brutal. Banishing the chalk. I feel like I'm not in control anymore. My fingers are just like, <laughs> so slippery. 
But that's just something I have to get used to, I think. So, and it's also the heat. It's really hot in here. We had to turn off the fans too because of the audio on the camera. And uh, yeah, obviously we're we're pretty far south, so it's pretty hot and humid for a Norwegian guy like me. I'm not used to that. <laughs> <laughs> you are uh, you gonna try to see how many times you can do it in a minute? Yeah, I'll do it. Warm up. Warm up. Oh yeah. All right. So let's see how many times you can do it in one minute. Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, come on man, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, come on, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 15 seconds, 15 seconds left, 21, Come on. Yeah. Four. Come on. Five, yeah. five. five seconds. Thirty six. Ah. Come on, give me one more. Ah. Oh, done. Nice man. Oh, Was it harder than you thought? It looked like you kind of underestimated how much time you had. I didn't think I'd get dizzy. Doing that revealed like some holes in that technique. So maybe next time you could keep changing directions so you're not keep so you're not spinning. Yeah. Good. Okay, cool. So that was my introduction to Ninja Warrior uh, stuff, doing some uh, pretty basic techniques. And tomorrow we're gonna train. We're actually gonna do training. Uh, we're gonna put together elements, right? That's yeah. how you train this Just stuff. Stack them up. Yeah. Obstacle after obstacle after obstacle. And still no chalk. Or? <laughs> no. <laughs> no chalk. <laughs> okay. Hopefully you uh, enjoy this. Um, if you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. And uh, check out their Instagram. Links will be here. Crazy and uh, I'll see you in the next video.